regreso aquí en Auto 060, eh, estuvimos ahí, como decíamos, manejando el, doble, el, el Subaru WRX 2015 en California con un eh, motor eh, pequeño cua, eh, de cuatro cilindros turbo cargado y es uno de los, de los modelos, de los motores que está en la lista de Test Best Engines for WordsAuto.com and uh, to talk about that we're going to go uh, with uh, Drew Winter from uh, WordsAuto.com to talk about the whole list of uh, the Test Best Engines for 2014. So now with uh, Drew Winter from uh, WordsAuto.com uh, talking about the um, new big award that you're going to give out at the Detroit Auto Show. How are you, Drew? Thank you. Uh, so, uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit about uh, these awards uh, for people who maybe didn't uh, know about it uh, now in our audience? Can you explain a little bit how how this process goes on to pick up the best engines for uh, for 2013? That's a pretty, pretty daunting task, huh? Like t testing all those engines because uh, how, how, how's the process of testing an engine specifically? Because most of us in the media just uh, test drive the car in general, but how do you go so specifically into determining what's the best engine? I guess uh, one of the big uh, trends uh, in in this year's list is uh, a lot of diesels, right? More than uh, right. more more than hybrid and electrics. Yeah, this was this year we had uh, three diesels, uh, one electric vehicle, and uh, um, uh, also you know a lot of uh, uh, turbocharged and, and, and supercharged engines. Um, but um, the diesels were a, a big thing. We also had for the first time our first three. So, uh, just to, to kind of start off with the diesels, you know, for, um, this was a big year for them where we saw it in uh, uh, the, the diesel, in the uh, uh, cruise, started off, but that's a really good engine, we had, uh, uh, it's a, an affordable car, and these kind of diesels are real popular in Europe, of course, but uh, in the U.S. it's still pretty new, uh, the cruise diesel competes with the really the most popular diesel in the U.S., which is the, the Jetta diesel now, the Volkswagen Jetta. And it's, it's great fuel economy, and uh, it's, it's uh, really quiet on the road, and uh, that distinguished itself. We also were real impressed with the, uh, the diesel in the, in, the, in the new BMW 5 Series for different reasons. It's a luxury car engine, tons of power, but also a terrific fuel economy. So that was, that was real impressive. Yeah. And then the, uh, 
And then the third diesel came in the in, in a light duty pickup truck that was in the, the, the Dodge Ram. Also really impressive, extremely powerful, very quiet and and uh, uh, vibration free for a, for a pickup truck. And in this case, you know, you're talking about a really powerful engine that can give you a great fuel economy, uh, with 25 miles per gallon in regular driving. But also the diesel really stands out when you're towing. You do a lot of towing with heavy load. Yeah. So it, it, it stood out there. So if we were to translate the, the benefits of this uh, great work that you do, uh, testing these engines into the consumers, uh, who are picking up uh, cars and looking into good deals, not only for price but also for mileage. I mean, this is a really like a, almost a wake-up call for a lot of people who don't consider diesels, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, and 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 one of the things that uh, that people, I mean, there are there are a few things. One is cost, just of the car itself, because uh, diesels are more, a little bit more expensive, but also the actual fuel is more expensive uh, in, I guess, most of the states. I don't know, and here where I live in Florida, it's definitely more expensive. It's almost as expensive as the premium fuel. So, are those some of the things that are preventing people from uh, getting into diesels here in the states? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's, uh, we saw in 2008 where, where our diesel was a lot more expensive than regular, um, but still when you get uh, diesel fuel efficiency of 20 to 30 percent better fuel economy, um, it, it, it's still it, it, it's still uh, worth your while for right now anyway uh, for a diesel. But but what you get more with with a diesel engine that that people maybe are not are less familiar with is how much uh, torque and, 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 and fun to drive characteristics you get with a diesel, which you really don't get with, with say, a comparable hybrid that may get similar fuel economy. Uh, you get uh, also very quiet cruising on the road. So, uh, But if you're looking strictly a uh, strictly, uh, you know, fuel economy basis, if you do highway driving, the diesel really makes sense. If you do mostly stop and go, uh, you know, in, in California or whatever, diesels make a lot of sense because that's not where, that's really where hybrids excel. But um, what, there are a lot of misconceptions that, that consumers still have about diesels that have really gone away about the idea that they that they are very noisy or they smell or anything like that. What you get with a, a, a new diesel now is something that is uh, very efficient, very quiet, and you get also very excellent range where you can go um, up to maybe 800 miles on one tank of fuel. So that uh, there are a lot of benefits to diesels that Americans really still aren't fully aware of. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty impressive. Actually, one of our colleagues uh, uh, just uh, uh, did a, a trip from Chicago to Texas on a Jeep diesel and just not stopped. In terms of, of refueling, he probably stopped for going to the bathroom or something, but <laughs> not, not for refueling. <laughs> So uh, you also mentioned there's a few uh, turbo engines that are uh, in your uh, top ten list. Well, yeah, I mean what, what we're seeing now with with engines uh, to meet fuel economy standards now, engines are are all being uh, downsized and uh, to make increase fuel economy, but then to give them still the horsepower and the torque that, that the really consumers still demand. Most engines now are being either turbocharged or supercharged. Now, I don't know how much you, you want to get involved in, in, in that, but essentially uh, we're seeing engines that are uh, uh, now much smaller than they used to be, but they're just as powerful or more powerful uh, than, than consumers are, are, are used to. Um, so, I mean, the... Uh, uh, one, of the, one of the big ones that, that is really significant is the, the one liter uh, EcoBoost that's in the new Ford Fiesta. And that's a tiny, tiny little engine. I mean, there's a lot of motorcycles with, with that size engine in them. It only has three cylinders, which may turn off consumers, um, the idea of it. But this is a really powerful uh, engine for its size, thanks to turbocharging and some other technical features like direct injection. It makes 123 horsepower from that one liter and uh, even more uh, a, a, a ton of torque. And there's a tiny little engine that uh, gets 45 miles per gallon on the highway. And it's still, it, it's a lot of fun. And it, it's in a car that starts at about $16,000. 
Yeah. And so what you get here is terrific, you know, you get a powerful little engine with terrific fuel economy that doesn't really give you the impression of a, a typical entry-level engine. It makes, it's got a good exhaust note, and uh, it's a lot of fun to drive, and that's why I made our list. Is it's, it's, it's really efficient and fun to drive and affordable, and that's one of the key things that, that put it on the list this year. Yeah. So Formula One is going back to turbos next year, so I guess... Uh there's something to, to talk about that uh, and uh, that makes sense, I guess, from the consumer. It's completely different, but uh, the actual technology of a turbocharged in, in an engine is uh, something that's coming back. So we're talking to Drew Winter from awardsautos.com about the test be, 10 best engines for 2000, what is it, 14 or 13? I'm confused now. 2014. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Drew, uh, where can our audience go and look for more information about Awards Auto? Sure, just go to wardsauto.com and then uh, you can uh, just uh, search on the site for 10 Best Engines if it isn't uh, up on the front page and you'll just find uh, find more information than you probably uh, ever want to know about uh, <laughs> engines and, and what makes what makes a great engine for uh, really for consumers. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much, Drew Winter from wardsauto.com and again, the award, the award is going to be given at the Detroit Auto Show, right, next, next month? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, and uh, enjoy your winter there. <laughs> oh, okay. Great talking to you again. Thank you, bye. Bueno, ahí tiene toda la información a veces de este premio tan prestigioso de awardsauto.com que va a ser entregado en el Auto Show de Detroit en enero próximo, así que muy interesante. Ya regresamos, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.